Hey, what's up? It's Trevor here. Today we're taking a look at a budget condenser microphone from Tonor, the Tonor BM700. This is a microphone you can get on Amazon for just a little over 30 bucks. And the nice people at Tonor sent me it to do a demo and review. So I put this mic to the test on electric guitar, bass, acoustic guitar, and vocals. To skip right to hear all those in a mix, you can click the links in the description below. And to hear each of those instruments individually with no post-processing, raw right off the mic, there's links for that as well. To test this mic in a voiceover situation, I will record the audio for the rest of this video with this guy. Voila! So the package Tonor sent me came with tons of extra goodies aside from the microphone that come in that just over $30 package. You've got a pop filter, one of those broadcast stands, a number of cables, and a USB powered phantom power box for those of you who don't have audio interfaces with built-in phantom power. So on to the specs for this microphone. The BM700 has a 20 to 20 kilohertz frequency response, a sensitivity of 38 dB, an output impedance of 150 ohms at one kilohertz, and a load impedance of 1000 ohms. The noise level is 16 dBs, and the max SBL is 130 dB. The signal to, the signal to, no the signal to noise ratio is 78 dB. The pack that Tonor sent me with this microphone came with a number of goodies aside from the microphone, including a desk mount clamp, a shock mount, a ball type phone cap type filter, a USB cable, adjustable scissor arm stand with built in XLR cable, like one of those broadcast stands, a pop filter, and its own phantom power. So how does this microphone deal with instruments and singing in a mix? Let's check that out. I hate this town, it's so washed up And all my friends don't give a fuck They tell me that it's just bad luck When will I find where I fit in? Down the I hate this town. 
So now let's hear the Tonar microphone on all those sources with no processing, just completely raw, straight off the mic as they were recorded. tried I never strayed too far from you forever by your side you would be wasted for something this is a crazy low price for any a condenser microphone of any kind you can't expect this to sound like a U87 or anything like that where I thought it really shined was on the acoustic guitars and surprisingly I actually ended up enjoying it on the electric guitars I think it would serve better on electric guitars as a complementary mic to a dynamic or especially a warmer sounding dynamic because I found this mic it doesn't have a ton of low end which is great for a boomy acoustic guitar in a sort of boomy sounding room but not so much for certain people's voices and a lot of other instruments. For vocals it does have that certain condenser high end that you're not going to get in any kind of dynamic really but I did find it was a little lacking in the low end and same would be true for bass. I definitely see myself using using this again on acoustic guitars and possibly for voiceovers just because the signal to noise ratio and stuff is better than a lot of the dynamic mics I'm working with at the moment. Who would I recommend this to? If you want to get into podcasting or voiceover work or something of that sort and you think you want to try the sound of a condenser but you're not sure exactly what you're into, this might be a great thing to start. I mean, for just over 30 bucks, can't really go wrong. I'd be interested to try two of them, maybe try doing a stereo miking technique on acoustics or using them for overheads or rooms on a drum kit. For that price, you get four of these and still spend less than you would on an Audio-Technica AT4040 or something. Those are my thoughts on this microphone, but I wanna know what you think. Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe if you'd like more of this content. Let me know if you enjoy this gear talk. Let me know if you think I should stick to covers or whatever. I don't know. It's up to you. Until next time. Well